you head out onto the water with your stand-up paddleboard, it's really important you plan your paddle to help ensure you and your paddling buddies have a fun and safe sup session. Make sure you consider the following. The wind and the weather, your location, the tide or the river conditions, appropriate clothing, your personal flotation, communication and emergency, your equipment and the correct leash. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the wind and the weather. The weather, and in particular the wind, can have a huge impact on your SUP session, not only on the enjoyment of your paddle, but also your safety out in the water. Whether you're going for a quick paddle with mates or a longer SUP adventure, it's vitally important you consider the wind and the weather and know what it's doing whilst you're afloat. This will help you plan where's the best and the safest place to paddle as well as help you decide what to wear and what else to take so you can be prepared and safe on the water. For example, a dry bag with sun cream, a hat, extra water if it's a hot sunny day, or a waterproof if there's a chance of rain later that day. As long as you're prepared and dressed appropriately, SUP can be enjoyed in all kinds of weather throughout the year. But just don't underestimate the wind and the effect it can have on your paddling. Paddleboards are highly affected by the wind, not only the wind strength, but the direction also. So, do you know how the wind impacts your paddling? The key skills required for paddling in wind, where to get the wind forecast, and how to read and interpret the forecast. Wind impacts your paddling in two key ways. Wind pushes you and your board across the water in the direction it's blowing and the wind is blowing over the surface of the water which causes disturbance resulting in choppy waters. Both of these factors can make paddleboarding more challenging and can even result in you being unable to paddle back to where you started. The stronger the wind, the bigger the effect it will have on you and your paddling. The ideal wind speeds for paddleboards depends on a number of factors, your ability and experience and the type of paddling you want to do. If you're a beginner then it's best to go out when the wind is light, ideally less than 10 miles per hour. This will not only provide calmer water conditions and easier paddling, but also reduce the risk of you being blown in the direction you don't want to go. With experience and necessary skill, it is possible to paddle in windier conditions, but remember, more wind is likely to mean rougher waters, making paddling conditions more challenging, especially on open waters like seas or estuaries. Make sure you're wind aware the whole time when you're out in the water, because at some point, you're likely to be paddling back against the wind, so you want to know you can do this. Paddling into the wind first helps ensure that you can get back to your launch and landing point even when you're tired. If you're paddling from a spot from A to B, then ideally you want to be paddling with the wind blowing in that direction. This will make for a much easier and more enjoyable paddle, so consider the wind direction when you're planning your paddle route. For more experienced paddlers, they may choose to go out in windier conditions and on one-way paddles. This is known as downwinding. This is an exciting side of our sport and it can be great fun, but the conditions can be challenging, so it is important to have the necessary skills to be able to comfortably paddle. The wind, as well as the general weather, can quickly change. If you do find yourself in windier conditions than planned and struggling to make ground, then there are three things you can do. Get low, paddle on your knees, and lie down and paddle. Make sure to check out the more in-depth videos about paddling in wind on subwater. So it's really important to find out what the weather and wind is doing on a certain day and by looking at the weather forecast you can see what predictive weather is a week or so in advance but it's always most accurate just before the date you choose to go. You can find wind forecasts and weather forecasts in many places for example, WingGuru, WindFinder, Magic Seaweed, and many other online websites. Over time, you'll find your preferences and there'll be no harm in just checking a few. Select the location nearest to your chosen paddle spot and around the time you plan to paddle. Remember, it's also worth considering the weather either side of your planned session too. So often the forecast can change and arrive early or a little bit later than expected. The wind strength is shown as well as the wind direction. And it's important to remember that the arrows are pointing towards the direction of where the wind is blowing. The wind direction, as well as its strength, can have a huge impact on your SUP session. So let's see how wind impacts different locations. Onshore, offshore, crossshore are the words used to describe the wind direction in the relation to the land. Onshore is where the wind is blowing from the water towards the land. The pros to this, there's no chance of being blown away from the shore. The cons on larger bodies of water, where the wind maybe is more than 7 miles an hour, it can become choppy and it's obviously even harder to balance on your board. 
Offshore wind is where the wind is blowing from the land towards the sea. The water will look very flat and inviting, but you may be unable to paddle back against it if you get swept out to sea, and generally it gets stronger the further out offshore you are. It is best to avoid paddling in offshore conditions unless you are experienced and fully aware of the risks and how to paddle in the wind. Crossshore is where the wind is blowing along the water's edge, and depending on the location the water can start and become quite choppy in speeds over 7 miles per hour. It's important to make sure you can paddle into the wind, otherwise you might risk not getting back if you're paddling in crossshore conditions. Cross off and cross on are the wind terms used when the wind is not quite onshore or offshore, it's a combination of the two. It's really important to look at the map of your location once you know the weather forecast and understand the wind direction in relation to that location. With inland waterways, rivers and canals and small lakes, the water is less affected by the wind, but still it's important to understand and consider to make sure you have a safe paddle. In general, they can be more sheltered from the wind because the land is all around them. However, you might find the wind is funneling down valleys, which then could make paddling still hard. The good thing though, smaller bodies of water generally do not get as choppy as at open sea. So knowing what the wind is doing and how it affects different paddle locations will help you plan your paddle. Either choose the best location on the day you plan to paddle, or wait for the perfect wind forecast to paddle a certain spot. Remember, just because you paddled a location once before and it was perfect doesn't necessarily mean it'll be perfect the next time. Battling against the wind on a sup isn't fun and it can be very, very dangerous. So here are our top tips to making sure you always get the best out of your sup session. Always check an up-to-date weather forecast before you go out. Always consider wind direction and wind strength. Change your paddle location if needs be. Learn some key paddle skills, so if you do get caught out in the wind, you know what to do and you can still get back ashore safely paddling against the wind. If you're starting and ending in the same location, start your paddle heading upwind. If you're going to be doing a one-way paddle, make sure most of the wind and the paddle is in the same direction from A to B. Be aware of offshore winds and know the risks for these all the time. And consider your paddling ability. Just because somebody else is going out in that location doesn't necessarily mean you should too. We really hope you found this video useful and informative. Hopefully you know now more about the wind and the weather, including how the wind impacts your paddling, how to paddle in winds, where to get your wind forecast, as well as how to read and interpret weather forecasts. We hope this video has taught you all of those things and please share this video with other paddle boarders to make us all more sup safe on the water.